Hey there guys, Connor here with Chrome Designs and thank you for watching this video tutorial. Now I noticed um, I've received, I think it's like two or three requests now of how I actually make the watermark that I added on a couple of my videos. Uh, this is the sort of thing that I'm talking about. Uh, as you see just down here, uh, you've got like my, it's like a tag sort of thing, it's a watermark so kind of stops people stealing it. Uh, sometimes decide to add it, sometimes don't kind of depends what mood today I'm going to be showing you how you can create this I know it's not a very complex tutorial for those people that know what they're doing but I like to keep everyone on my uh, everyone that follows me uh, happy so let's crack on the programs I'm going to be using are Photoshop and Sony Vegas in all fairness you don't really need these two programs but what you could need is any sort of photo editing program GIMP or anything that you basically can add text and as well as some video editing software. Now you can actually just use the text in Sony Vegas, however, I'm gonna just do it if I'm a Photoshop. So first of all, you need to decide what your project settings are going to be. For example, when I when I uh, have a video, I'll make it 1280 by 720. So doing that on Photoshop, I'm gonna go to File New, and I type in 720, uh, 1280 sorry by 720 and make sure it's on pixels and make sure it's the background context is on transparent and click OK now I'll bring up this border now this is what basically effectively where your tutorial will be so if you just hit the text tool and just start to type type in whatever you want I'll type in Chrome Designs HD now you notice that this is grey um, and if you're using an interface that is grey for example Sony Vegas it might not stand out as much so if you right click on the text and go to blending options you can maybe go to color overlay not grey, didn't accidentally tick that uh, choose what color you want, you can choose a grey but then if you add a stroke it will just kind of like emboss it that like, little bit more so it could, 12 2 and you could also maybe add a drop shadow which also makes it stand out a bit more from the rest of the tutorial so then once you've got that done oh by the way you can place it anywhere on the screen that you want I'm gonna lower down the size okay got it there and then you want to go to file save as and just save it to desktop and I call it tag now on the format you want to save it as .png if you save it as JPEG, it will make the what what's the transparent background to white, and that just causes trouble. So make sure you save it as PNG. I'm going to go into Sony Vegas and input one of your tutorials, documents, tutorials. Uh, what should I type? Uh, sharpen images, sharpen rendered. Just load in. There we go. So we've got our basic to video there. Now, if you now go to import and just import that tag that you just made, and if you right click on the video layer and add video track and just drag it on the top, stretch it out the whole way, you'll see that it's now overlaid onto the video. So now if you if you maybe didn't guess right exactly on Photoshop, you can just go to Pan and Crop and you can maybe make it smaller by dragging out these bars. No wait a sec. Make sure you've got these two checked here and drag out these bars and just move it about. Uh, if you want to make it bigger, make them smaller. Pretty simple to be honest guys. And it'll just fade its way into the video. So that's about it for me guys, thanks for watching this video and please remember to comment, like and subscribe and bye.